Hey, this is Dave at HouseBarons.com. Today we're looking at small gasoline engines, uh, specifically Briggs and Stratton uh, versus Honda. Uh, these are two of the most common engines you're going to find whenever you go to a rental store. Uh, we're going to show you the differences in starting them, as well as we'll show you some things to look for whenever you encounter an issue with trying to start a small gasoline engine. Here we have a couple examples of different small engines. Uh, this is a, a Troy built uh, weed eater. This is a Honda 6.5 lawnmower engine. All small gasoline engines have three things in common that you, that you need for, uh, for it to start. No matter if it's a little tiny engine like this or a lawnmower engine or the engine in your car. First and foremost, uh, you gotta have air. And air, this is an air filter behind the case there. This will clean the air before it goes into the carburetor and you got to have a good clean filter on there if you want your engine to start. Uh, all these have chokes on them and that controls the amount of air going into the engine and the proportionate amount of fuel that's going into the engine and uh, when you choke the engine especially when you're starting it what you're doing is cutting off the, a lot of the air supply so that you can increase the amount of fuel mixture going into the engine and helping it to start uh, quickly at the beginning. The second thing every gasoline engine needs is a spark. And this is a spark plug with the boot attached to the internals of the engine. And it goes inside that hole. And typically that's how you would see it looking more like that. But the spark happens right there between that little narrow gap in front of my finger. And that spark inside the cylinder of the engine ignites the fuel and starts it going. If you don't have good spark, either because the spark plug is fouled or not connected right or something within the internals of the engine that can be a problem for an engine not to start correctly and then lastly is fuel if you ever have an engine that, that doesn't start right always check your fuel make sure there's fuel actually in there if there is fuel still not starting here's another thing to check and that's the control for the fuel, this is this right now is in line with the hose and that means fuel can flow that way. If it's turned this way, uh, that means no fuel is getting into the engine and uh, so it ha would have to be turned in parallel with the hose to make sure your fuel delivery was okay. Those three things are what matter in every single, every single gasoline engine and those are all the, the things that have to work in conjunction with each other to start an engine. And if any of those things is wrong, that'll keep an engine from starting. Some engines also have controls on them, like, like this handle here, where this engine can't start unless the handle is pull, pressed in that position. It's kind of a safety mechanism. Other things to, that control the starting of the engine could be an on-off switch, and you'll see that on the engines that we're talking about uh, coming up shortly. A lot of the things that are common on the gas lawnmowers is something like this, like a bulb where you would press this three or four times. And what it does is it pulls fuel into the carburetor to get it started. So you always look for a priming bulb on your lawnmower especially. Right, so whether it's a lawnmower engine or a smaller tool engine or the engines in the, in the video that we're showing here uh, for the rental equipment, they all have a, the same procedure to use to get it started. And uh, we'll go ahead and walk through that. What we have here is a, a Billy Goat overseeder for adding seed to your yard. But what I want to show you today is how to start a Honda GX 160 5.5 horsepower motor. These are typical on rental equipment or even maybe your lawnmower, uh, something very similar. Uh, to get started, all you have to do is take the switch to put it to on so you can actually start it. You can pull this cord all day long. If you don't turn that to on, you'll never get it started. And then after you got that going, you've got these three things here you've got uh, this is your fuel and you want it has uh, on position and it points the arrow this way so there it says on pointed that direction so you want to turn your fuel on this is your choke and if it's a cold day it's going to start here fully choked and as soon as the engine starts to rumble a little bit then you can move it over over to this side uh, we're going to do a uh, this engine's warm so we're going to do a hot start and that's just going to no choke basically over there this is your gas uh, that's uh, full on and that's uh, idle and we'll start it full on and it'll just start hot uh, to get this to run you just go ahead and move the choke over 
and this likes to start on on fast make sure the fuel is on and then you just give this a pull if it uh, if you give it a few pulls and it doesn't do much for you uh, try putting a choke in the middle and that sometimes that uh, uh, gives you just, just the right amount of gas air mixture if you got all those those three things uh, figured out you should be able to start a, a lawnmower or a rental piece of equipment pretty easily I hope this video helps if you have any questions drop us a line thanks for viewing don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time